Good evening, my high vibe soul tribe. Well, this evening we're gonna pull a couple cards from the Grand Canyon. Yes, you heard me correctly. Let's just move the camera like that. I wanna see my little bear. Okay, oh, it's right here. Okay, so we're gonna pull a couple cards in the Grand Canyon. Please, dear Heavenly Father, place a cloak of protection over us at this time. Please allow me to be see your truth, love, light, and knowledge and look into the Castaic records for information that my beautiful collector needs to hear. Please don't allow any evil, negative, toxic, or demonic energy to come through at this time. Or at all. Ever. <laughs> and um, please, uh, yeah, place a cloak of protection over us. Okay, let's get started. Remember... I'm reaching in my mixed bag. This is called my road trip basket for tarot. Okay. Yes, because we gotta keep our eyes on the road. Ooh, that's relevant. Keep our eyes on the road. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I got two. Oh. Oh, I look at there. Oh, collective, you don't say. You need to free yourself, okay? You need to take some advice, grab that notepad, grab that pen and paper, and take some advice from moi, okay? Do you see how free I am? Do you see how I'm living? Well, this is how you're supposed to live. This is what God wants you to do, okay? Also, you are calling in your soulmate, baby. Yes, you are. You are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you closer together. Closer together. Right now. Over me. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got Ruby. Okay, Ruby. It says, what is it? Hot pink to ca cabernet red. Uh, Ruby is a precious gemstone that has bedazzled royalty. <laughs> royalty um, for centuries. Ruby is a fearless guide and protector. Weren't we just talking about that right now? Pointing you in the direction of a rich, passionate life. Who needs it? Anyone with something worth fighting for any fire sign okay if you have strong fire in your chart just know ruby's best friend it says um okay where to put it in a ring on a hand on the hand you throw punches with Ugh. um in the bourgeois oh bourgeois bed oh gosh i can't say this you know what it means okay okay bourgeois there we go bourgeois Place it in a bourgeois. No bourgeois. B o u d o i r. Put it in the comments below. Okay. When to use it? When you want to show the world you're both beautiful and fierce. Oh. Okay. Yes. My little bear in the back there. We got some mama bear energy going on today, collective. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Okay, uh, when your sex life needs a help, a heaping teaspoon of spice. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's got cobwebs. <laughs> yes, I do, collect I got some cobwebs. Yes, I have. She's a little rusty. Okay. Uh, okay, when the budrum, a bosom, have you down. I don't know what that meant. Uh, reach for Ruby and some really red lipstick and come out swinging. Swinging. It says feed your fires. Okay, so feed your passion, feed your cravings. Like good cravings, though, okay? Like good cravings. Uh, maybe you're wanting to, maybe you're practicing celibacy. I heard exercise works really good with people that are pra uh, practicing celibacy because it's a way to release. Oh, nice. And then we have bismuth. Okay, bismuth. I'm just going to read um, who needs it. The easily distracted. <laughs> that would be I. <laughs> People who are very bored. Mm -hmm. I hear crickets. <laughs> 
All right, uh, when to use it. For those looking for some psychedelic influence with your swallowing the red pill, lie on your back and take 10 or 100 or a million. Hmm. Powerful breaths through your mouth with bismuth placed in your forehead. Okay. Then break out of tired gray thought patterns and get an get in a route to move colorful emerge emergencies life okay i'm sorry i won't read these cards anymore because i'm too tired to be reading right now i'm like yeah okay let's get some tarot what do we have for tarot where's the tarot oh they're right here okay tarot I'm really feeling this one Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Nice. I love Queen of Pentacles. Fertility. 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 I can't even talk right now. I'm so tired. Uh, prosperity. Sensuality. Sensuality. Sensual. Common sense. Um, nutrients. Yes, I need lots of nutrients. I need to go get some. I ate that freaking bullshit sandwich from the gas station and got me a little ugh. Okay, someone concerned with the welfare of others. Very concerned with the welfare of others, okay? This is a, like an empress kind of energy. A capable woman who is both a mother and a business woman. I love it. Take names. Get shit done. And then engagement, just flip the fuck out. So maybe somebody's wanting to come to you at this time too, Collective, and... Um, engage in conversation, engage in um, helping you carry some of these burdens that's been weighing you down for quite some time. Okay, engage in the fact of generosity. A little bit of generosity goes a long way, collective. Yes, you see how this guy's giving? A little bit of generosity goes a long way. So maybe too, we might want to. Um, I'm hearing a uh, donate time, donate money. And it was 7-Eleven when I said that too. Donate time, donate money. It is food for the soul. Okay. It does really make you feel good. It does. Yes. And that is going to arise. Arise that kundalini. <laughs> the kundalini. Yes. I'm really feeling like you guys are calling in your soulmate. Oh. And as soon as I said that... Look who decides to pop up, Collective. Yes, we got the Magician. Now this, this is the counterpart for the High Priestess. Okay? But we are, we are very wounded. Very wounded warriors. And, um, yes, whenever you have this kind of energy mixed with a wounded warrior energy, mm, yeah, you're, re, you're not wanting to... You're, you're basically standing in your own way, okay? The universe is telling me with this right here, get out of your own way. You're in, you're in your own way, okay? Yes. Also, I was saying high, uh, I was saying Empress energy. I really felt Empress energy, but here we also have the uh, Emperor, okay? So now we have Emperor, Empress energy on the board. Let's see what else we got. Let's clarify this one. Oh. Yes, this energy, this emperor, he's um, very honest, very loyal, very charming. Yes, and he is properly healed. Oh, I love this. This is nice energy. Yes, honest, truthful, loyal, dedicated, not afraid of commitment. Mm -mm, nope. Very honest and truthful, properly healed. And yeah, they're calling in you just as much as you're calling in them. And it's all by energy vibration, by the way. Okay. Oh yeah. The will of fortune is turning in all your favor. All y'all's. All y'all's favor. I'm here. All y'all. All y'all, baby. Oh, what? Look at this. Wow. Yes, there's going to be a really huge financial windfall um, with money and love. 
a lot of uh, your energy is also, I'm hearing the higher that you vibe collective, the more that the whole collective vibes together all around the world. Okay. And um, especially when you're in like Grand Canyon places and places where, you know, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy up here. Um, excuse me, Red Bull. <laughs> um, also, oh, excuse me, Red Bull. Okay. Also, uh, these are seeds that you have planted. Okay. You guys both called each other in. This is divine love, baby. This is divine love, baby. Let's get one from over here. I'm really feeling this one right here. Okay. Moonstone. Okay, I gotta read it. I love Moonstone. Um, who needs it? All you earth goddesses out there. Okay, I'm just gonna say earth angel. Okay. For all you earth angels out there and people and the people you keep around who need to work on their empathy, patience, and intuition. Okay, so this will also help you open up your third eye. Yes, it will. But when you open up your third eye, you also want to have obsidian stone and you also want to have some amethyst. So moonstone, obsidian stone, and amethyst, I highly recommend for a third eye. Um, let's see. On your bedside table, you can put it on your bedside table while you sleep. I just said that 11-11. Okay, I, yeah, I need to get some sleep. I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. Um... Okay, on your bedside table, in your overnight bag, or with your passport and eye mask. Oh, the eye mask thing that you wear over your eyes. No. Okay. Um, and, and then it says, under a new moon, use it to set intentions that align with your purest. Keywords here. Purest. Okay. Life affirmation affirmating a-f-f-i-r-m-i-n-g affirming okay life affirming inner child nurturing calling okay so this this also helps heal inner child wounds deep-seated inner child wounds past childhood trauma okay um under a full moon moonstone belongs in the bedroom or wherever you get yeah uh find your natural rhythm too it helps you it helps you find your natural rhythm i'm hearing rhythm to life helps you gain that perspective and now we're going around in circles because i pulled this from a different deck but it's the same card okay so maybe we need to balance our moon energy at this time yes and we're going in circles again Wounded warrior in reverse. Uh, oh, you're coming out of it. You're healing from that. Yeah, you're also healing from some kind of toxicity. Um, you're healing from some kind of um, unemployment. Uh, you were very frustrated and you were very upset. Okay. Um, this brought you nothing but like uh, a lot of pain and turmoil. And that could also be like some of the stuff that you have to heal from your past childhood trauma. Okay, could be this uh, unemployment or this frustration. I'm sorry. I'm tired. This could be this frustration. Yeah. Um, and so we need to release this. We need to heal this. The best way to heal childhood trauma, by the way, is by simply being a good parent. Or, you know, if you have nieces and nephews, go around your nieces and nephews. Okay. Yeah, because this childhood trauma really brought in a tower moment for you. I'm really feeling too that the post-traumatic stress disorder collective that I'm talking to, um, it's it's hitting you pretty hard right now, especially in the age of Aquarius. Okay, yeah. It could also be affecting your self-love, I'm hearing. Not your love life, your self-love. But we got to remember not to be codependent. Okay, we want to step away from codependency. If you can't fulfill your own cups, don't go out looking... Um, to fulfill for somebody to fulfill your cups seven of cups here there's lots of options yeah you never want to rely on somebody else to emotionally fulfill you you have to emotionally fulfill yourself okay so let's practice on that self-love okay you look at yourself in the mirror and say you are a sexy bitch you're a sexy motherfucker yes you do. You have to say that. And you have to be very passionate about it as well. The universe hears you. The universe feels you. But most of all, the universe fuels your fire. 
and it propels you forward. Okay, yeah, we're coming out of this. We're, we're stepping away from the past. We're stepping away from all that past childhood trauma, that hurt, that pain. Um, also, somebody could be stalking you. Okay, yes, they see you as a star. Hmm. <laughs> They see you as a star. You're shining bright. You are this. You are the light in somebody's sky. Okay. You um. You stand out from the rest, and your energy vibrates in a different way. So it really, not even by saying anything, you're still helping people heal. And wasn't I just talking about amethyst? Yes. I want you guys to go out and get some amethyst. Okay. It will really help with your, your third eye and keeping it uh safe. You have to put amethyst with um what is it called uh obsidian i can't even think right now i really need to get some more sleep um yes you got to put amethyst with obsidian and uh, meditate with it on your forehead i'm hearing okay yeah okay yeah because there's a lot of people out there that just don't wish you the best right now uh and it's because you know your seeds that you planted are coming into fruition let me get one from the bottom of the basket. This one. <sighs> yeah. Collective. Fear in reverse. And I was just talking about these people right here. Okay. You have them scared. Like. And you're not even doing anything. You're just simply being yourself. Um, wasn't I just talking about Obsidian. Yeah, you need to get some obsidian. Okay, um, also, I'm hearing pleasure yourself. That doesn't mean anything sexual either. It doesn't have to be. And right when I pull that and talk about pleasuring, yes, the Scorpio card has to come out. You know Scorpio's zodiac signs are the most sexual signs ever. And oh. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I, my spirit guides are so funny. You know that they are just hilarious. Yes, they are because they know I practice celibacy. And whenever I talk about pleasure, I just pull the pleasure card. And then right after that, long and behold, I have to pull the two, only two most sexually active freaking cards in the entire tarot, which is the Leo with the big heart and the, oh, I want to strengthen my pride by having a million children and all this stuff. And then the Scorpio card. Scorpios are the most kinkiest, sexiest beasts all out there. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. I, um, I have a secret. I have a little crush on a Scorpio and, um, I had a dream about this Scorpio when I dozed off for a couple of hours recently. And, whew. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That, just those thoughts alone should be against the law. My, my. I'm done. Well, if you have strong... Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. Um, if you are a Pisces and and this is your birthday month, okay? There's some. There's a King of Pentacles that are coming through for you. I've been getting this. Everybody's been getting this. All the readers I've been seeing have been getting this. There's no stagnancy. There's no taking your time. Um, this King of Pentacles, which also has strong Scorpio, possibly strong Leo. I don't know. Some kind of fire. Lots of passionate fire. Um, in their chart, uh, yes, you are not taking your sweet time anymore towards this divine feminine or this divine masculine. Yeah, because you're seeing it. You're seeing the light. I mean, it's like right there. Everybody's telling you about it too. And by the way, whenever you talk to your friends and stuff and you're dealing with a very psychic sign like a Scorpio or a Pisces, you know we can hear you, right? we can we can hear you so you should take fucking action just saying <laughs> all it takes is a mustard seed collective just a mustard seed yes it does <laughs> realization 
Okay, somebody's getting some serious realizations right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> About their true path. About their true path, maybe? Yeah, like you're wanting to. Okay. <sighs> Stop. All in divine timing, that's all I gotta say. One more card. Oh, I don't know why, but I just got the, um, I just got like the image of rabbit hole and taking the blue pill or the red pill. Like somebody's diving into the rabbit hole right now. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Red Bull. Um, also, um, I'm being highly pulled to tell you guys to start. Um, <laughs> I just chugged a Red Bull right before I got on here. Sorry. Um, I'm being really guided to tell you guys to also uh, practice um, yoga, some kind of yoga. God, my ear is like on fire. It's this metal from these earrings. I tried putting that one in my cartilage and it's like, it's making my ear all messed up. My skin is super sensitive. Okay. Oh, that feels so good. I feel like a cat, like... I'll stop. Uh, who needs it? Yoga people. Um, okay. And people who hate yoga, that's a Pisces all the way. 12, 12 or 21, 12. When I said that, yes, Pisces do not like yoga. Well, meditation. It's hard for Pisces to meditate. Um, cause we're always kind of like squirrel, squirrel. Oh, go here, go here. Oh. Yeah. That's a Pisces. Uh, when your ego has you feeling too small or totally suspicious, Sup surprised god i cannot i can't talk when it seems to um seems like you're sucking life force through a twizzler stick <gasps> oh my god i'm totally sucking fucking life force out of a twizzler stick right now just trying to stay awake Ooh, 21 minutes all right yeah i'm doing good readings today uh when it seems like yeah you're sucking the life force through a twizzler stick instead of a a bamboo straw <laughs> when you've got a uh, got baby making on your mind oh my gosh come on spirit guides that is enough go all in i'm done <laughs> i'm done i'm done all i gotta say is you know what my divine counterpart better come in soon okay and my divine counterpart better go up to the mountains or the beach or the desert wrap our fucking hands this is all you gotta do wrap our hands with the cloth okay just like braveheart did that's exactly what i want i want a braveheart wedding no papers no prenup no nothing okay just god please bless my union and then i want to make sweet passionate love Whew. okay i'll calm down who's passionate Okay. Yeah, calling in your soulmate. Okay, one more. One more. Let's go from the very bottom. Oh, I'm feeling all of these. Oh, we got some money coming. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got a, a, a Knight of Wands here. Wanting very fast, very passionate. Um, an Ace of Cups here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Love. Uh, we got two of pentacles, making that decision to move forward towards your divine counterpart. Uh, four of pentacles, okay? Maybe we're wanting to save for some retirement. We also got nine of pentacles here. Yes, um, I'm highly hearing that you um, need to save for some retirement. You're going to be coming into a huge windfall of money along with some divine love, okay? So don't forget to replenish your savings, I'm feeling very guided to tell you that. Replenish your savings, okay? And three could also be a very significant number for you at this time. Okay, let me see a couple more. 